name's Josh. I'm a respiratory therapist at Mainline Sleep Diagnostics. I started off in Thompson Rivers University going for my respiratory therapy diploma and getting my bachelor's of health science there as well. So what we're going to be talking about today is a little bit of the testing. We do need a referral from your physician in order to get the testing done. Once we receive the referral from your doctor, then we'll be able to send it off to Charvi at our main office who will be able to book you into one of our multiple office locations. And we should be able to get you the testing done within 24 to 48 hours so the testing is done fairly quickly. There are two main ways to be tested for sleep apnea with us in home. We have a couple devices here that we'll be showing you today. The first is the pulse oximeter. So the pulse oximeter is just a little device that'll go onto the finger and measure your oxygen and heart rate throughout the night. This will actually tell us if we're having any presence of the sleep apnea and we'll be able to determine the degree of it. We'll just go through that device quickly first. It's just a little finger probe monitor as pre-mentioned. Now to turn on the device we simply press the middle button and put the finger probe on any one of these three fingers either hand. Now you do want to put the finger probe on securely so that the wire is on top and the device will begin to measure your oxygen heart rate at that point. Once you see a green light on the device then we know that it is reading properly and we want to get at least five hours with the device while you're sleeping. Assuming we get that much in the morning you can turn it off just by pressing and holding the middle button until it turns off. And then you can return it to any one of our many office locations in order to be sent off for interpretation and then later to be sent to your physician. We will, however, also be giving you a call with the results once everything has been determined. Moving on to the next device here, we have what's called an apnea link. This is a level three study that will help test for the sleep apnea as well, which happens to be a little bit more accurate. Now, there are a few things to the device itself. There is a belt here that'll measure for the effort to breathe, there is a similar finger probe monitor that'll measure your oxygen and heart rate. And the final thing is a little nasal prong that'll actually detect for snoring. So I'm actually gonna put this on now. So in the middle of the device, there is a button there to turn it on. So you'll wanna make sure that that's on. The device just goes around the chest, just above the nipple line. We don't want it too tight, just comfortable enough that it stays on and that it doesn't move too much. The next thing we want to do is put on the finger probe monitor. So again, any one of the three middle fingers with the wire on top. Final thing is the nasal prongs, which will go into the nose, making sure that the prongs are facing towards you, go into the nose and over the ears. This will help secure it along with this little bottom adjustment device. Now that everything's set, you should be ready to go. If you look at the middle of the device, all three lights on the sides indicating that they're all reading properly should be lit green. Now when this happens, it means that you are ready to go, ready to go to bed and get your five hours of sleep with the device. In the morning when you're done, press and hold until the light changes there and you'll see a test indicator in the top right on it. This will let you know that it is ready to go, that it is at least five hours data and that you can return it to one of our multiple office locations, which will then be sent to a polysomnographer to be interpreted and scored. We then send it to a specialist and then it will be sent to your physician afterwards. We'll call you with the results and if you had any questions or concerns, we'll be able to follow up with you afterwards.